Rod in Redwood City, California. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss Photofusion Extra Gray Lenses with the Gold Flash Mirror for your Oakley 8166, which is the wheelhouse, size 52, color 02, in the polished clear. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. Your hard shell Oakley case. Your Oakley carrying bag slash cleaning cloth. And then the star of the show, the main attraction. It is the 8166 wheelhouse. Comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you again. This is the wheelhouse. Not the brick, dun dun dun, the house, but the wheelhouse. All right, that's, that's enough of that. Model number 8166, color 02 in the size 52, polished clear. So, I'm gonna pop out the original demo lenses so I can put your gold mirrored in there. I'm gonna send those to you as well. You get all the manufacturer's original packaging. I'm gonna place your frame into the tracing element of my blocker, but the one thing that if I'm going to forget to do something for a video, it is that. I need to assign a number to your glasses. And I can't even pick up the, the paper clips one of them days. You are Secret Agent 2679. Because 007 is already taken. <laughs> Although the next one's going to be 008. We're going to have to see. So I'm hitting the start button, the little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Oakley frame that I offer and you will receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance, you will get your out-of-network vision insurance reimbursement, or if you have a health savings account flex dollars, you will get a full reimbursement. Now, my website takes PayPal, which will accept MasterCard, Visa, Discover, American Express, but it does not take HSA flex dollars. So you'll need to go to the Contact Me page of the website and call me up and I can take that payment over the phone. Now, having said that, email me first. Let me know what you want. I'll get you everything out in itemized price. And speaking of which, I am an authorized Oakley dealer. I just don't have all the frames listed on my website yet. So if there's a frame that you want, go to the contact me page of the website. Let me know which model number, size, and color. I'll check on the price and availability. If you really want to be nice, upload a picture of your prescription. Tell me your PD and what lens options you want, like the extra active transitions with the gold flash mirror. And I can tell you exactly how long everything's going to take and an exact price. So, let's go ahead and enter your pupillary distance, which is 31 point, well, it's 63 total, so that's 31.5. For each eye, I'm going to raise the optical center height up to 22, and I'm going to write that on there. By the way, I got ahead of myself. I don't need to step back. Rod wanted me to give a shout out to all the law enforcement out there, people working in the medical field, the grocery stores. This is Wednesday, May 20th. Of course, 43 degrees on May 20th. Something's wrong with my watch. I got to update that. But we're in the middle of the coronavirus and rod's thinking of people other than himself everyone out there on the front lines from again law enforcement which i'm actually coming out by the way you hear the term rock star optician thrown around in my profession i realize that i'm just a cover band i'm putting lenses in other people's songs so i want to i want to write my own songs i'm coming out with a thin blue line eyewear well the next first line i'm coming out with is christian eyewear that's kind of a cross on the temple here and on the temple tip but then I want to do a thin blue line, which is going to have a black and white U.S. flag with a horizontal blue line with it. And then, of course, i got to do fire right after that that has a thin red line. But, uh, but you'll start to see me do more and more frames as that comes out so I can show my appreciation for people in the law enforcement field. And then there's doctors and lawyers, but one of the frames I'm going to do next is for the EMS crew to have their emblem on there. 
for the grocery store people, I don't know what I can do for you. <laughs> but I'm working on How about I give you my money and you guys stay open? That's what Okay, good. We agreed on it. We'll, we'll make a good team. So, your right eye, minus 275, minus 1 at 165. I'm going to spin the axis wheel to 165. This feels nice and cool. Let me turn it on so it gets warm. This is marked the right lens, minus 275, minus 1 at 165. Yep, that's right. So let me take everything out. And you can see, so I've got, I'm wearing the Oakley uh, Pitchman R Carbon in the Polish Clear. Looks very much the round version of almost what he has, except I've got the carbon fiber temples to go with uh, the carbon fiber silver coming in above my, uh, above my temples. But I have DuraVision Blue Protect Anti-Glare in mind. You see that purplish reflection. So the mirror is just like an anti-glare coating on steroids. You've got a gold reflection coming off where I've got the purple. So I've got reflection envy. I, I want some gold. So I'm going to put the power drum. And let's start at zero. Make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Okay, put the power drum on minus 275. Rotate it until the, I didn't have to rotate it much, until the spherical component of the prescription comes into view first. Check your astigmatism correction. We're at minus 375. That looks good. And I'll explain all that a little bit later. But if you have any questions what astigmatism is, it's, uh, and whether you're going to get it in, in your life. Yes, I'm putting an R on there, even though there's already one. If you are... If it gets dark when you close your eyes, then you're going to need glasses one day. If it, uh, if you're hungry right before you eat, there's a good chance you might have to wear glasses. If you're sleepy right when you wake up or right before you go to bed, there's a chance in your life you're going to need glasses. That's what that means. <laughs> 170, put the power drum on minus two and a quarter. You guys are believing this, right? It's nice when they put an L on the lens. It tells me I don't have to rotate it to find the... They've almost got me marked where the top of the lens is. That's the last help I'm going to get tonight. I'm going to have to do everything else myself. Two and a quarter. Minus three and a quarter. So that means we have one diopter of astigmatism correction. Let's put some dots on the lenses. Uno, dos, 160. I think I math wrong. And let's put an L on there. And if you guys missed any of that... Wait for it. Wait for it. Let me recap. <laughs> okay, so, by the way, Zeiss documents everything. That's what I love about it. They even put your name on the packet. So I'm having to use my little post-it note sticker and uh, cover that up so no one sees your name. But I like to highlight everything. Your right eye, minus 275, minus 1 at 165. The DMZ is the Durham Vision Mirrors. <laughs> I don't know what FPI. Photo Fusion. The Y. You think it would be X for extra, but it's not. But that's what they have it as. And of course, that's the right lens. Do the same thing for the left. And so, where was I at? Oh, work. I was doing some work. Okay, so this is a block. Or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I got them here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick that one onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time, it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. And the reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly just so let me get everything exactly the where it should be this is the platform the lens sits on but sometimes one of those arms could be blocking the view so that's why it's made to rotate so i can see the black background always check to make sure the lens is large enough and it is Hit the button, the block is placed on the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with. I ain't right neater. Neater. Same pupillary distance, same optical center height. Get everything lined up as such. Make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. Hit that button. Now the arm places the block on the left lens. Now, 
This is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter, and then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the bad jokes and the two thumbs to do it for you. But the wheel that's going to do all the work is this wheel on the left. It's the diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Let's wake the computer up. Job ID number 2679. Where did I see that before? 2679, or as I like to call it, installment 2679 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. Now you're going to watch, stay up late, and make sure you watch all 330 million volume, all because there's going to be a surprise ending. Spoiler alert, you're not going to see that coming. So, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. Or my favorite one, TBD, to be determined, some space age thing coming out in the future. And the background is glass, but I don't have the wheel or the software to cut glass, so I, ain't nothing I can do about that one. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens, whether you need it or not. So I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, I like to call it the Charles. Because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. I know, free bad jokes with every pair of glasses sold. Hit the start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two used-to-be white styluses. Now they're a little dingy. Going around tracing the shape of the right lens first. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which will be minimal, if any, with your prescription in this frame. Now, I do cut very strong lenses all day long for Quanto, for free, and that is a little bit more critical with the higher powers. But the water you see in the background, that light flickering, that water is there to catch the optical sawdust. If this lens ever comes down on the cutting wheel, the lens material will be ejected off the back. The water is there to cool it and rinse it down into the cycling pump. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet. Meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now water will spray onto your lenses but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form around the edge of the lenses. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. They are 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable, and they make a cool sound. They have 100% UVA and UVB protection. They have These are high-impact ballistics grade lens material, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris in, the, in their Oakleys. But Zeiss offers the most complete UV protection all the way up to 400 nanometers. You're getting sunglass level protection and a clear lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. They're so sensitive. but. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays you have to reapply when you're out in the sun, this is permanent UV protection and never needs to be reapplied. Now, you have the gold flash mirror on the front surface. You have a DuraVision sun anti-glare coating on the back of the lens. The extra active lenses all throughout the middle have 30, excuse me, excuse me, the regular have 30 to 40 percent. The extra active have 50 to 70 percent blue light protection built into the lens. You hear about blue light being emitted from today's electronic devices such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, and such. And of course, the number one source of blue light on the planet, the sun. So you have everything wrapped up into one lens. You got the blue light protection, you got the gold flash mirror, you got the transitions extra active, you have the DuraVision Sun anti-glare coating, you got a good looking frame. You got the coolest optician in the world cutting them for you. I am a licensed optician. I went to college for this. 
I've been doing this for over 21 years. I have personally cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses. I will now be releasing my own brands of frames coming up. If you've been happy with the lenses I've cut for you and my the name brand stuff, my cover band work, it's time for me to take the main stage in the big stadiums and do my own thing. Keep me in mind should you want the Christian eyewear, which I should have had down here. Don't worry, I'm going to release the Christian eyewear in, in one of my videos. I should have them in about four to six weeks with and without magnetic polarized clip-on. So even though you've got the transitions, transitions don't work 100% in the car. So you just clip on your polarized... <coughs> Excuse me, don't worry, that's not a Corona cough. My Corona. Yes, I like coffee. <laughs> Sober as a bench judge. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm going to tuck this in at the outside corner. See if it fits first time around. No, it does not want to fit. So I'm going to take it down a tenth of a millimeter. Hit the retouch. And I do what's known as the cold insert. Don't take my word for it. You can ask my wife. <laughs> but... <laughs> She hates it when I tell that joke. But a lot of people will use heat on the frame to make the frame more pliable to make the lens pop in. People in a hurry do that. I like to do the cold insert where the frame temperature is cold when I insert the lens. If the frame, if the lens were too large, it would cause the frame to stretch or what we in the industry call roll. If you can imagine your bevel being like a gutter. It will roll outwards, giving you an ugly cosmetic look as well as shorten the life of the frame. You want a perfectionist like me with 21 years experience cutting these? It's a corny saying, but the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra at the beginning. And it's not like you live next door. Here I am in North Carolina. Here you are in California. It's not like you can pop in and have me shave these down by hand. Hey look, here's something new. I'm trying to... The hand stone where I would shave them down by hand kicks up a lot of dust. Yeah, see, look at that. So, I've got, I've got to figure out a way to bring this out and I can turn this on while I'm working and it'll vacuum that up. Um, I tried putting something here but it just didn't work well enough. So I'm gonna put something here, a popsicle stick, glue it on the inside that goes up inside here. So it will stay in that position. So I just have to turn it on and it'll suck up all that sawdust. Get back in there. Look, it even gets on the walls. Look at that. Look at that. Perfection is, is not clean work. At least the way I do it. <laughs> so let's see if it fits second time around. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner, push down at the nose. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with peanut oil. Now we're cooking with uh, a rocket stove. Flip that over to L. Oh, I almost forgot to put the lens in there. Press the sticker on there, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the rod. I will spare no rod. Just like before, hit the, the clamp shuts. The lens is gonna be traced by the two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go round. Ding. You may now turn the page. And the old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And look at that rod. You got nothing. You got nothing there. You got no edge thickness. By the way, that was my tribute to Robert De Niro in his very first uh, film debut in Mean Streets. He comes in after a late night drinking into his friends, looks in his friend's fridge. There was no food. And he was like, you got nothing. <laughs> okay, maybe I thought it was funny. All right, so, Robert De Niro, 19 years old. So, I'm going to put it in just above that black dot. Let me darken that for you so you can see. Put it in over that black dot. Turn the axis wheel to 165. I am getting minus 275 going away from 2 towards 3. I'm one tick mark away from three. That's because 
the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. Starts at zero and goes up in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75. You are on, let's see, eight is, you are on the 11th rung of the ladder. You need 11 steps of far-sided correction. With your glasses off, you can see up close, great. You can see your fingerprint. Of course, you might even be able to see my fingerprint with those on there, but once things start to get farther away, oh, yep, you, you ain't got nothing. You got no vision. You got nothing there. <laughs> so you need 11 steps of far-sided correction. Now, once an image is the correct size, because again, with your glasses off, everything is much too large. Once is the correct size, that's why there's a minus sign. It minifies the opposite of a magnifying lens. Your lens is minified. Now, once is the correct size, you have a full diopter of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine tune knob. You have one curve on your eye this way, that's minus 275. You have a steeper curve this way by an additional diopter. That's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. And we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 165. Let's read the second curve on the lens. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm going to put it on here. Can you guys see? I'm going to have to move it around. Three skinny lines. I'm going to move it back and forth. Hopefully, something will pick up. I'm going to do that. And now you see three thicker lines. That's your astigmatism correction. When I look in here, when that comes into focus, let me check that. Yes, it does. And we're at minus 375. How did we get there? Someone borrowed $2.75 from you, then they borrowed another dollar, they would owe you $3.75. That's where we're at, 375 in the red. Now your left eye, you only need nine steps of far-sided correction, but a full diopter, and we're gonna turn that fine tune knob to 170. A straight line is zero to 90 to 180. Now, the first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from zero to 180, but we're gonna turn that fine tune knob to 165 for your right eye, one, a little bit further, 170 for your left. You have five degrees of separation from your prescription and Kevin Bacon's. Now this frame, the Oakley 8166 wheelhouse sells for 185 complete with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. The PhotoFusion Extra Gray lenses adds $129.99 and the gold mirror is $69.99 for a total of $384.98 tax free. Why do I bring that up? Very good question you ask. Because a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax now. I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. Imagine that. And North Carolina does not require tax to be collected on medical devices. So I don't have to charge tax. But if I did or you were to buy these glasses from somewhere else who charges less than me i dare you i challenge you to find someone who can do that but the total is 384.98 my sales tax is 7.5 percent how did i do that 384.98 times 7.5 percent you would pay another 28 dollars and 87 cents in tax rod why don't you just take that to the grocery store and uh, spend that on something nice that you like. Go ahead, take all $28.75 that I'm going to give to you, and you, you get yourself something nice, all right? <laughs> so, I'm going to take this in on the outside corner, push down the nose. Well, you know what? Get yourself some coffee. Drink it all in one sitting. $28.75 worth of coffee, and you can think of me as you grind your teeth down to nubs. So I'm going to use my hand-approved drying method, throw that back in there add to my sticker collection so when i left my previous job my videos you saw from six years ago when i was a lab manager this was my first year of being in business second year where i'm at now business is growing now i still keep this because it looks like a black snapchat <laughs> emblem but no um this is my sense of accomplishment i saw this i'm on some opticians group on facebook and someone had their blob sitting on the counter and I just thought it was hysterical seeing that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do that. This is awesome. Look at this. I should auction this off in my one millionth video. When I get up to 330 million, I'm going to get a double wide coffin. And I'm going to be buried in this. So 
All right, where was I? I was working. Did I ever do this? No, I didn't. Okay, so 170. Rod, you can't spare the rod with me. You got to keep me in check. Let me darken that dot, 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 dash. All right, who knows Morse code? Put it in over that dot. Read the power. I'm getting minus two and a quarter. One tick mark going away from two towards three. Spin the axis wheel until the other one comes into focus, and we're at three and a quarter there. Heading towards four. Well, you guys know where three and a quarter is. So, drum roll please. PD of 63, optical center height of 22. This is known as final inspection. I just want to make sure everything is perfect before I mail it to you. Place some, oh, come on now. Place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens, and when we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 63 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Optical center height of 22 when you look at the middle of the plastic of the frame which is actually where the bottom of the lens is because of the bevel 22 that's looking good So this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses I mentioned there's free shipping anywhere in the US and Redwood City, California is in the US Do you have any pines there? We're the pine state Although the dogwood is our state flower and the cardinal our state bird. All right, I'm running out. What else is there for the official stuff? But, oh, when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, when I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Now... The reason why I didn't do it with these Oakleys, these have pilot temples, and it's almost like they're self-correcting. It's called a pilot temple, because if you imagine a World War II fighter pilot, they could put their sunglasses on and off the old aviator shapes without having to take their helmets off, whereas this spatula, this is known as a spatula temple, it curves around your ear and you would have to take your helmet off. So again, for those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon with the Photofusion Blue and DuraVision Blue Protect. In fact, I'm going to stall as I keep talking. I'm going to show you what mine look like. But let me flip this over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. But neither temple is askew like that. So I send out a selfie request in every package. Rod, I would love to have two selfies, one with you indoors with these clear, one with you outside next to a giant redwood showing the gold mirror on there. How about that? How about that? Of course, I can't do them side by side, but that's the Zeiss Photo Fusion Blue. I love how rich that blue is on there. That is an in-your-face blue. That is like a BMW blue. So, all right, let me put mine back on. I also send out cleaning instructions not only for your frame and lenses, but for the premium microfiber cloth that I will offer to you. And, of course, I field test every one to make sure it works. I don't want to send out a defective cloth. So when you get this in the mail and there's a wrinkle in it, you know that it works. But not only your Oakley cloth, but how to care for your case. So it'll last you for years as well as your Zeiss cleaning cloth. Now, another thing you can do after sending me a selfie, if you take any other selfies, will you occasionally hashtag me at free prescription lenses? But there's one thing I want to do that you haven't seen in a video yet. It is... 717 on the east coast it's probably gonna be a little while before this video is uploaded he's been waiting on these so i want to take a picture of these while they are clear oh here we go here we go that's uh my christian eyewear that's gonna be coming out it's gonna look like this ray-ban frame but it's gonna have a cross on the temple Right here, instead of Ray-Ban, it's going to have a cross there in silver or gold and a temple, another cross in the matching color on the temple tip. So, I'm going to take a picture for him. Let's get, so he knows what he's getting. And anyone who's ever gotten glasses for me knows that I do this. This is my trademark. I'm telling on myself. But, that way you can see... The, the model number, the size, the color of what I'm shipping. Okay, 
Now can I get some work done? <laughs> Rod's asking me, would you hurry up and mail these? All right, so this is what they look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Yes, I'm going to email him that picture as soon as we're done. I'm going to send another picture of them dark, but that way he knows they're done while the video is uploading. Rod, we're talking about you. Do you have, is the hair on the back of your neck raising up? Now, as you can see, all photochromic transition lenses will darken in at 30 to 45 seconds. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15 to return back to clear. Now this is important, everyone pay attention. All photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Oh yeah, look at that gold. Look at that. Now, when you look out, you see the gray. When people look at you, they see the gold. Now, these extra active lenses will turn 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. The other thing about all photochromic transition lenses, man, who is that handsome guy with the GoPro camera on his head in your, in your lenses? But uh, they're temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, your glasses are miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees. We all work much better once it cools off. Now again, having said that, these extra active lenses are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside in hotter weather. So if anyone out there lives in a hotter climate, you may want to think about just going with the extra active lenses just so they're darker in the dog days of summer. Now I did expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light, but as I keep talking, these will get darker. In fact, just for fun, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do another one. Here's some you haven't seen. Oh, got to do the recycling. Come on, let's go ahead and get them dark again. I know, I could be doing this afterwards, but hey, you, if people out there have watched enough of my videos, you get to see something different this time. Never done that in a video. Never done what? So, a doe walks out of the woods and says, I'll never do that again for two bucks. <laughs> so, oh, come on, let me get that. Where's that gold? Just right. There we go. There we go. We gotta get this. Here we go. Let's do this. Get a dark background. It's easier to see on a dark background. There we go. Now we're cooking with whatever we're cooking with. Okay, so do me a favor. Give me the thumbs up. Like this video. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you get future notifications of frame and lens as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. Rod, I'd actually love for you to comment on this video when you watch it and leave a post after you get them don't forget to send me a selfie um, i'll put a link in this video if you want to buy other oakley's from me down in the description to show you how to do it and again if you have any questions you can email me at free prescription lenses doc at the contact page and you can also leave a comment or question in the comment section below but Rod in Redwood City, California, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley 8166 Color O2 Polish Clear with your Zeiss Photo Fusion Extra Active Gray Lenses with the Gold Flash Mirror. And now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.